Good morning, dolls. So, um, I'm gonna try this vlogging thing again. I always start vlogging and then, like, I don't never finish, but, um, it's because I be feeling like my life is just so boring and it's just nothing really for you guys to see. Like, it's, um, 4 o'clock in the morning right now and I'm up for work. I'm already dressed. Um, I just did my brows and put a little bit of light foundation on and put some lipstick on. I'm trying to keep up with my appearance all 2018, trying to be a baddie all year, but I literally just got up, put my scrubs on. Um, I work for DaVita. If you guys didn't know that already, I am a patient care technician. DaVita is a dialysis facility, a hemodialysis facility. And I'm pretty much there all day, and I can't really vlog while I'm there because of HIPAA violations. I can't really have my phone on the floor, but I want y'all to see what I do every day, and y'all want to see it, so. Let's go to school. What do it look like outside? What you mean when schools are off, off for the holiday? I about to say, it's not that much. <laughs> oh. I'm about to be like, what? So now I'm basically I'm just driving to work. Um, when I go to work, um, depending on what number I am, is depending on what time I got to be there. Like so that today I have to be there at 4:45 because I'm a three. If I open the facility, I will have to be there at four o'clock. If you're a two or three, you'll be there at 4:45. And then if you close the facility, you don't have to be there until 5 o'clock. But you got, I started coming in at 4.30 every day except for the days that I have to close. And it's been working out just because you got time to get everything together. You got to set up the machines. And I'll show you guys the facility when I get there. But you got to set up the machines and you got to get ready for all your patients and everything to come in. So it takes me about 10 minutes to drive to work from my house so that's what i'm gonna do and i need my phone to listen to my music so i'm not about to vlog all the way to work but like this is basically every day what i do i drive i wake up i you know get in my car i go to work i get back in my car and i go home and then on monday i start school so you know it'll get a little bit more interesting once i start school like it's like 7 30 now and i am on my first break um usually i go out and like get breakfast or whatever but y'all see me eat this morning so i'm not going to get no food i'm about to just sit down here and watch tv my first break is only 30 minutes so i'm gonna sit here probably call my man drink my coffee and uh watch tv and yeah that's pretty much it um I had a nice morning. Patients didn't give me a hard time. Didn't really have no problems. It was nice, easy, smooth morning. So, 
you know, I don't really have nothing to talk about or complain about. I'm pretty sure some shit gonna happen before the end of the day that I'm gonna be out here venting about. But for right now, nothing really happened. I'm just on my break chilling, so. So, right now, it's 2.10 and um, I've been on my feet since like 9.30. Um, since turnover. Turnover happens at like 9.30. And that's when first shift start coming off and second shift start coming in. And I've literally been on my feet since then. Haven't sat down. I've been putting patience on. All types of stuff. Like, I'm a three today, so I'm the second to last person out. I don't leave till I get down to four patients. We still have 16 patients on the floor. So, I'm going to have a long day. Um... But I'm just so irritated because, like, we stopped taking patients at 2 o'clock. And you think, like, if we stop taking patients at 2 o'clock, nobody going to come in, right? Nobody going to be that inconsiderate, you know, and come in at 140. But we got some patients that do. And if they come in, we got to give them their treatment. But my thing is... If you reschedule a treatment and we give you a time, why come an hour and 40 minutes past the time we already gave you? Because now you're being inconsiderate to your text. You don't think we've been here since 4 o'clock in the morning. You get what I'm saying? And we got to stay. You run a three and a half hour treatment. We got to stay to you off the machine. Why are you being that inconsiderate to us? I'm tired. I want to go home. And granted, I do want all my patients to get better. I do want all my patients to you know get their treatment but dang think about but i really don't i'm trying not to be complaining i try not to catch an attitude like because at the end of the day i'm on the clock this is my job this is what i gotta do but really you can't be considerate for other people for a second because you obviously don't care about your health it's not as urgent as it should be that you come get your dialysis treatment because if it was, you would have came, you wouldn't have rescheduled the first time. And then second of all, you would have came on time when we rescheduled. Like, why are you playing games with your life and then want to sit here and play games with me? I'm tired. I want to go home. I'm irritated. I ain't got no food. I ain't got enough time to go get no food. So, I'm just sitting here irritated. But, I'm going to be off soon. Hopefully, I'm off by, like, the next two and a half hours. I'll be off. Um, and then tomorrow is my last day to work for the week. And that is amazing. I might vlog again, though, this weekend because I got my military stuff this weekend. And I, I've never vlogged while I was in uniform. So, you know... You guys be wanting to see my life and see what I do. And I keep telling y'all it's so boring. I do the same stuff every day. But I might vlog this weekend um, just so you guys can see, like, what I do when I go to drill. I mean, it's not really that exciting. Um, but, yeah, I, I guess I could vlog again this weekend since I got drill. And, um, yeah, vlog again when I get off my break. But, yeah, I'm just a teeny bit irritated. Not a lot, but irritated enough to the point where, I, like, certain stuff just don't make sense to me. Like, why would you come in at 140 and we stop taking patients at freaking 2 o'clock? And then, it's 2 o'clock now. When I left off the floor, she still wasn't on the machine. You have to run at least two hours. So we can at least clean their blood. You get what I'm saying? At least pull some type of fluid off. We got to do it at least two hours. So you wasn't on the machine. And it's 2.13 now. And it's going to take another 10, 15 minutes to get you on the machine. You're not getting on to about 2.30. Then you got to run two hours. You're not coming off till 4.30. Then we got to wait on your transportation to come pick you up. You got to wait 15 minutes per each. It's two needles. We got to pull both of those needles. 15, needle, 15 minutes. So, by the time you finish bleeding, it's going to be 5 o'clock. Then you got to wait on your transportation to come get you. Mind you, the person who closed and been here since 5. So, that's already 12 hours they waiting. They been at work. We only get a 15-minute break, and then we get a 30-minute break. So, 
we be tired. We really do. And people don't be understanding that. But I'm not complaining because I want my patients to come in. But I just want them to be considerate. Like, be considerate of what everybody else is going through. Like, we, we here to help y'all. But if we tired and we all overworked and stuff, we can't help nobody. We got to help ourselves first because I promise you, the minute I get to sniffling, the minute I get sick, I'm I'm not coming to work because I'm not about to be sitting here trying to take care of nobody else and I'm sitting here aching. I took two days off this past weekend, this New Year's, uh, this past weekend, I was sick for New Year's. I had a lung infection and fluid built up in my lungs because I was just... I, I felt myself getting sick and I just kept pushing it and kept pushing it and I pushed myself too hard to the point where I had to be on bed rest. I'm not doing that no more. I'm not working myself that hard no more. I'm sitting here watching Roll Bounce. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't even know why this is on, but this is my movie. <laughs> but yeah, that was my little my little rant for today. Like that's what pissed me off today. Hopefully I don't get pissed off no more, but who knows? Um, it is currently 4.40. I just got off work. It's snowing. You feel me? I'm tired. And um, I'm about to take my ass home. Like that, it was my day, y'all. I don't know why y'all thought I did anything special. I don't know why y'all thought... <laughs> You feel me? I I don't do nothing special. I I go to work and I, I come home from work. Like that's all that I do. So you know, you guys got to see. Um, uh, pretty much. I, I guess you really didn't even see how I spent my day. Like y'all got to see me complain about my day. Me get up and talk to y'all for a bit. Um, but like I said, I can't really record while I'm on the floor on the floor because it's a HIPAA violation. So um maybe tomorrow or next time I vlog when I come to work. I'll um I'll show you guys the floor like I said I would. Uh today we was just I was just I had to get my stuff set up. I ain't really had time for that, so um but yeah, I'm about to uh Go ahead and uh, crank some music on and drive home. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure y'all buckle up when y'all get in the car. But um, on a serious note, like, that's all I really do. On the days that I go to work, I get up and I go to work. That's all I can do. I work all day. You know what I'm saying? By the time I get off work, it's almost 5 o'clock now. By the time I get off work, it's time to go to sleep so I get back up for work tomorrow because tomorrow I got to be at work at 4 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, that's how that go. But I would definitely see you guys in my next video. Uh, make sure you give us a thumbs up if you want to see me vlog more. I'm sure as I vlog more, the vlogs will get better. They might get interesting. I don't know. Depending on how my life go in 2018, um, I'm, I'm pretty positive I'm going to have a pretty productive year, but you feel me? This is what I do every day. Um, you know, as far as vlogging and stuff, when I do photo shoots and, uh, you see my breath, this is how cold it is. But as far as, uh, vlogging, when I do photo shoots and stuff for my business, I'll, I'll vlog those when I, like I said, when I go to drill this weekend, cause you guys know I'm in the army. The Michigan Army National Guard, like when I go to drill this weekend, I don't mind vlogging, you know. So, yeah, we can just do it like that. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure to thumbs up and comment and subscribe and do all that jazzy stuff. And uh, thanks for watching, babe.